What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon Da Vinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and today I have a handful of videos I want to go ahead and try to take uh, take care of. There's going to be a couple of fan requests uh, done today, and a couple of videos that I picked out myself that I wanted to go ahead and react to that I thought would be hilarious. So this first video is a video that I picked out. It's um, it goes in line with my gamer cringe video, and a lot of gamer cringe tend to center around people that lose their their minds when it comes to playing games. Usually people that flip the hell out. I told you guys before, I'm a bit of a rager myself when I play certain games. Certain games. And I never actually damaged anything. So that that's a good thing. But this is something that goes in line with not necessarily the gamer raging, but more so the parent of the gamer raging so if you guys are into seeing destructive uh or things getting destroyed or just about destructive behavior in any way then be sure to stay tuned because you will love this this is angry parents destroying kids consoles <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing no, there's just something in me that's just, when i say parents destroying kids consoles i don't know why but something just seems kind of funny to me um, let's go ahead and check this out. This video is of 21 minutes, but I will go ahead and just react to about half of it. I don't really. Uh, I'll, you can go. You guys can go and continue watching the rest of it if you want to. So let's go ahead and jump into this. This video was uploaded by Static Panda. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link for the channel at the end of this video that you can click on. Last 30 seconds or so, it should pop up, uh, and there'll be a, a link in the original or uh, original link in the description box down below so that you can click on it and you can uh, continue to watch the rest of the video. So, let's check this out. We're live here, man. My typical Sunday. Now, I want to be his ass, but I ain't going to be his ass. I got his Xbox. Which one would you like? You want an ass with it, or you want me to keep his Xbox? Sound like you said the sex box. Him, we set him up. Me and all the kids, we set him up. We caught him. Um, we put a nine later in the newspapers. Five minutes after we just got to talk to him about this. So then he goes and he takes the newspaper out like an asshole, but he also took the candy as well. Now, what do you want? You want the ass or you want the Xbox? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, if I'm getting this correct, you're punishing him because you put an hour later inside of newspaper and you told him to go fetch the newspaper, uh, bring the newspaper in, whatever. And because he took the narrow later that was inside the newspaper, you're going to whoop him. I don't know. Well, not whoop him, but give him a choice between a whooping or uh, Xbox being taken or whatever. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds to me like it was a setup. I need more context. Did you tell him not to take the, uh, the now later or whatever? Like, was that part of the agreement? Okay, go bring the newspapers, but you better not touch that candy that's inside of it. And then he did it anyway. Even still, it seems like you're just doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff. And then you're recording it, too. So it's like it has a little bit of that clout chasing thing to it. I I might have to go ahead and just mark this up for the, the parent messing up. The parent, you, you messed up. So I don't know. I want to add some type of counter or something. But. I have a feeling this is the only time it's going to happen. If it happens more than once, I'll put a counter up somewhere for all the times the parents fucked up. So let's go ahead and continue, I guess. Okay, you don't want to answer. Hold on just one second, big dog. Hold on just one second. Just pause right there. Back up the way, please. Y'all back this way. Now, um, what do you... Come here. Come here. Get your ass over here. I fear a hot... Goddamn thieving I ass motherfucker. Heart. Keep on crying all that black on. Now, what do you want? Do you want this Xbox? What's wrong with crown with black on? <laughs> Which one you want? You want to keep the Xbox? That's the good answer. I'm going to give you the Xbox right now. Oh, no. Broken. Bye. He's going to give him it. Broken. Back up, Tracy. Back up. He's going to give him it. Broken. Yeah, I think this is 100% clout chasing. Hey, this is how I get down. He wanted the Xbox because that's easy. I just don't really see the point of setting your son up for failure. Like, you put candy, a small piece of candy, 
in a newspaper, and because he took it. Stop, Janiah. You throwing stuff? You still lie. I'm still lying. You still lie. Hey, you see that? You wanted the Xbox more you want to ask for. I want you to quit fucking lying to me and steal it. I ain't gonna beat your ass because I ain't going to jail, but I can tell your shit up. Hey, you, you bad? Let on my place and fuck on tell. This has been another motherfucking broadcast bought you by your boy Shogo. They'll probably gonna say I'm mean as fuck, but look, I can't go to jail for telling them shit I bought. Yeah, but you can look stupid as fuck. <laughs> this thing zoomed. Oh, they're okay. Fucking stupid thing. Uh, just a quick review. Now, I don't really mind you destroying your own property. You're free to do whatever the hell you want. But as far as I'm concerned, it's no different than when people get mad while playing games and, like, throw their controllers and break it. Yeah, I mean, you might feel better now, but that's only temporary until you realize that your controller is broken and now you can't play it no more. And you got to go buy a new controller. You already know goddamn well this parent is probably going to go out and buy another Xbox at some point for the son. So you just threw away. That was the Xbox 360. It looked like it was a rather newer version. So I'd say about two to three hundred dollars. You just threw away two to three hundred dollars. It's possible you got it as a gift from somebody. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You got it as a gift. So you just destroyed a free property. You still have to buy a new one. So you're still wasting two to three hundred dollars regardless i don't really see the purpose of that if anything you could have it you could have established just as much of an impact by taking the xbox locking it up somewhere and giving it back if he happens to like change his ways the fact that you destroyed it and you recorded it seems to me like you're just looking for likes or thumbs ups or whatever wherever you uploaded it you're just looking for attention couldn't be me <laughs> <All right. laughs> and I'm a YouTuber so my little brother Jesse's playing Xbox on my dad's TV and this is like one of those things like nobody's allowed to touch this TV every time my dad catches one of us on here he flips the fuck out Last I heard his dad, dad has an old mindset five minutes ago I'll explain that in a minute saying he'll be home in five minutes some so. of you will get it he should be home any second this will be fucking funny Oh, hey, boobs. That's messed up. You ain't gonna look out for your brother. Tell him, hey, Pop's coming. You might wanna turn the game off. Fucking Skyrim, you kidding me? He's playing Skyrim, and he's on the beginning. This seems like it's a setup. You happen to record at the very first scene of Skyrim. He just turned the game on when his dad is coming home. Really? Sure. He just started the game when his dad was coming home. You knew the dad was coming. What? Nothing. Wait, no. Shit, shit, shit. What happened? You just over a little bit. I'm sorry. Dad, what are you doing? Dad, 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 only way this what isn't fake. Get, get away. Yeah. Dad, dad, <laughs> only way this isn't fake is if <laughs> only way this isn't fake is if he started the game, his brother saw him start the game and immediately called the dad and snitched on him. Like that's the only way the dad could have come home at that exact moment and just flipped the hell out the second he opened the door. You didn't even see the, the son on the TV yet or on the game yet. So how'd you know to come in the uh, building or in the house flipping the hell out? Uh, it, it seems kind of iffy to me. I mean, I'm not a person that destroys my pro own property, <laughs> but if y'all want to donate, you know, whenever I do a live stream, which will be very soon, actually, sometime this week, I believe, um, feel free to donate. Fuck you! Stop filming! Get that fucking camera out of here! 
Damn, fuck! <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, scrounge for all the little parts. <laughs> I will put it back together. <laughs> we can rebuild it. We have the technology. Um, yeah. When I was talking about old mindset, now anybody that's had or that's relatively older, in twenties or thirties, you know back in the day uh back with the old crts and stuff and i'm not even talking about hd i'm talking about just regular crts uh plasma screens things like that back in those days video games had a tendency of messing with tvs like you pause it for too long it could leave burning images uh different things like that parents especially ones from back then never really updated their knowledge on technology and video games so to this day they still think that by playing video games on a tv it could damage it so when i said the dad had an old uh, old school mindset i was thinking back to this because even even to this day my parents like if i were to like somehow connect a video game system to one of their tvs and I, if they knew about it, the first thing they would say is, "Oh, you might you you going to damage the TV?" Like, no, it's not. <laughs> we're we're way past that. And that that that's back in the '90s. And I guess with HD TV, it kind of came back a little bit with plasma TVs. It uh, brought back the burning effect. But since then, technology has improved, and you don't have to worry about that no more. But it's just it's funny that that was something that they said. Something I can relate to. Okay. So this is. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. Cookies. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna go back. The angry grandpa. We gotta give him full context. I will put it back together. <laughs> you gonna get back out of here making cookies? You got nothing to say? Okay, I know you were trying to prank me. Prank me I want to make cookies. Christmas cookies. <laughs> no, you didn't even got the balls to show up in my house to do it. Because you're gonna <laughs> prank me. You got some bullshit plan. I know you're here. You are. Tuesday. Gotta come over Tuesday. No. Cookies, motherfucker, right now. God I damn. told you we should have done the Christmas cookies. <laughs> hmm. Just done the fucking cookie. Whatever he was gonna prank you with, fault, whatever. Should have just done it. <laughs> <sighs> the yeah. so the, yeah. He's mad because he couldn't prank so him. Yeah, 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 more dead, more poor, but you're my goddamn cookies. Oh, hell. Hey, hey, oh, hell. Hey, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That table is durable. I'm surprised that glass hasn't broken. Okay. Now you want me to you not? Now you want to bake cookies or not? Now you call the cops. You want to bake cookies or not? Now call the cops. That dude is hell bent on getting his prank out there. You're gonna make them cookies, god damn it. Oh, it froze, one second. You're gonna make them goddamn cookies, and you're gonna fall for my prank, god damn it. <laughs> and then we're gonna laugh our asses off. <laughs> oh man. Angie Grandpa was a treasure. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and have to uh, wrap this up right here, so be sure to look out for the rest of this video. Like I said, the, uh, the link for the video, or the original video, is in the description box down below. 
So feel free to check them out. Um, like I said, we'll have their channel listed in this video, so you can go ahead and click on it and watch the rest of this. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a part two of this video at some point. So, like I said, you can go ahead and check out the rest of it, and you can, you know, when the next part comes out, or in this video itself, you can go ahead and leave uh, some spoilers in the comments about other stuff that might pop up in the compilation later. But anyway, that's been this video. I want to thank you guys for coming through. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about the rest of the compilation. And until then, I'm Devon Da Vinci. You've just been a little bit more enlightened, and I'm going to give you the deuces. Peace.